just be, be out, out with, with us. us to encore what cm reap this is the most popular attraction in cambodia and it is a unesco heritage site it is a huge national park with hundreds hundreds of different temples so today we are taking a private tour and we will share with you if this place is worth it and of course everything you need to know about Angkor Wat just, just be, be out, out with us, us. any tours you book for Angkor Wat do not come with the admission ticket you can buy tickets online we did not know that well that's why you're watching this video so you don't make the mistakes we did we are now at the Angkor enterprise office and the reason why we came to this location specifically to purchase the tickets is because they take any type of credit cards if you go directly to the temple and want to purchase the tickets from there it is cash only and mind you the ticket is 37 us dollars per person so now that we're inside irena is purchasing the tickets they take a photo of her and what we realize is that there is a lot of ticket booths here but it's really separated on the far end it's the uh, longer days so you can actually uh, visit the temples over a period of time maybe four or five days here it's only one day we got our tickets and look, they printed our photos right on the ticket. This is so cool. And before we start our tour, let me introduce you to our guide. His name is Sok. Sok. And he is the official licensed guy. He's been doing tour for 20 years. And he actually went to school to study English and his English is excellent. While we were on the way here in the tuk-tuk, he already told us so much history of Cambodia. I am so excited for our tour. Yeah. Let's get started. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's go. So this area that we are now walking on, actually, it is made of plastic and it's a way to get from through the moat over to the temple. And what we were told is right across to my left, your right is the temple wall and that's the original way they used to come in here so this is actually a kind of a makeshift while they renovate the actual brick wall to get over the moat to get into the temple this is the original bridge that i was referring to this is all concrete when irena came here over 15 years ago this is what she remembered walking on and we walked in on that bridge floating bridge on that side while they actually repair this one Angkor Wat is the largest temple in the world. It took 37 years to build it and it was designed by the Khmer Empire king. The king is the god also living on earth to um, rule people on earth. So he's sent from God and he's God on earth. And this temple is built pretty quickly. There is only one king allowed to build one temple. So some temples you see that they are not completed because another king is not allowed to complete the temple after another king. So uh, that's why this temple people are impressed that it was built very quickly and they consider that the king must be really good to the people for people to try to build it as fast as possible he was feeding his workers he was taking care of the people and the amount of detail on this temple it is just fascinating and incredible our guide Sok has told us so much history so many stories it is um, I'm just blown away it is so fascinating and interesting here Angkor Wat is a very special place not only for the local people of Cambodia uh, f to come as a spiritual place but also pre-wedding they come before the wedding to take their wedding photos and right now you see the couple taking videos and photos before their wedding they are so beautiful and their costumes are absolutely gorgeous there are many tours to explore Angkor Wat. One of the very popular tours is the sunrise tour. But you do have to start your tour as early as 
4.30 in the morning. I was not up for this, but this is the sunrise spot. The sun rises right behind this building right there. You see the pond and the there is a reflection from the sun in the water. So you can take really beautiful videos. Just keep in mind, I when I was doing my research and I was uh, reading reviews about the sunrise tour, people say that you have to come here uh, the temple early, uh, opens at 5 in the morning so you have to come here it's pitch dark and the the walkways are not really even there are steps so the tours don't provide you with a flashlight and you have to carry your own and be very careful coming here if you're taking the sunrise tour. A few things that you need to know before coming to Angkor Wat. Number one is that you need to be covered with shoulders and knees. And that comes not only for women, but also applies for men too. They will not allow you to visit this temple with shorts or a tank top. That's why yes, today we went shopping if you missed that video we will leave the link in the description below and also it is outside it is so hot so be sure to bring some type of hat I have a scarf I see some people walking around with umbrellas but when you're outside it is so hot and uh, here when you are inside the temple even though it is open air you can see uh, right through there are no windows but there is a nice shade you can feel the cool breeze and believe it or not these stones are actually feeling cool so if you just inside the structure you get a little breather you feel cool and get a little bit of break from the heat and from doing the research all type of tours that are provided to Angkor Wat they all supply ice cold water they have a cooler and they give you free water which is a really nice feature when it comes to accessibility Angkor Wat has so many steps so if you have difficulty walking it is possible your guide will try uh, his best to avoid areas with steps or try to move you around where there are less steps because these guys know everything the ins and outs of all these temples so as you can see right now we are in this massive staircase and if you think that you might not be able to make it here your guide we highly recommend to hire a personal guide that will take you around places where you don't need to climb as much stairs Angkor Wat is an incredible historical place that is why it is a part of the UNESCO heritage and it is possible to visit this temple without a guide but when you walk through it okay you see the carvings but you don't know the history you don't know the meaning of the of the carvings and the meaning of the structure of the entire temple so when you hire a private guy like Sok for example he will tell you everything all the carvings all different meaning this how the structure of the entire temple is said and of course he knows how to navigate around and he will take you to the best spots because this is a really massive temple and inside this national park there are also a lot of different temples so we highly recommend you to hire a guide we are now at the top of the tower that iconic tower that you see for Angkor Wat in this area there are five of these towers and you can go up and see the view from above going up they built uh, the stairs because the original stairs are so steep going up is not so bad but if you have fear of heights going down might be really problematic over here the view is gorgeous there is so much greenery around surrounding this temple and you see all these ancient structures it just gives me goosebumps so awesome I did not expect it to look like this when we got up here. There are four squares here and you can, there are corridors in between, you can walk around and from here you can really see the uh, close, the, the structures, the pointy structures and there is so much detail and carvings and decor all the way up on those towers. This is incredible.
We are now here. It's lunchtime. It's a little bit after 12. It was. It seemed like a very long tour at Angkor Wat, but we are here. We ordered some food, and we still have two more temples to visit. This is only half time. <laughs> and the, we ordered the chicken with mushroom stir fry and basil fried rice. And look at the size of these coconuts. <laughs> they are giant, and they do taste different from Vietnamese coconuts, Thai coconuts, or even. Balinese coconuts. But I think we can both agree the best coconut we've had, no, it's not Hawaii, it's actually Vietnam. Yes, 100%. So we will enjoy this lunch and uh, just keep in mind this is cash only and we will see you at the next temple. And just if you wanted to know the cost, they were both $5.50 each. Just a few minutes right from the restaurant, we came to our second location. This is Ta Prom Temple. This is another one of the most popular temples here in Siam Reap in the National Park. And uh, it is known for a couple of things. The first one is the giant trees that are overtaking the temple and we will show it to you shortly. And the second thing is... Uh, it might look a little bit familiar to you and those of you who played the game Temple Run or those of you who saw the movie Tomb Raider, this is actually where it was filmed. So this place has a little bit of significance for those of you who, who enjoy movies and who might have watched Tomb Raider because it was filmed here. This does not even look real, but believe it or not, it is a real tree. It is already intertwined with the temple and now they are trying to keep the tree alive. The tree is two to three hundred years old and because it's already uh, integrated with the temple structure, they have to keep the tree alive because if the tree dies, the temple will collapse. And this tree is called the Spunk Tree. Look how giant this tree is. I cannot even reach from one end to the next. And this tree starts from one side of the temple. It wraps around it and it goes to the other side of the temple. And the roots are so massive. They even put the metal structures to hold the roots because the roots are all integrated with the temple and they want to preserve the temple as much as possible so they're supporting the tree and the, the temple structure together so cool okay so beside this this is like a special tower that we found that our king designed this tower for the people who feel uncomfortable feel bad luck and feel sad and feel stressed they will come here that here originally have one statue of the god here uh -huh. but now you see so many uh, that for the people who believe so they will come here and they pray to the statue here mm -hmm. and they uh, stand here and they start relax and calm yes relax like this after that they will beat the chest so when they beat the chest they will hurt echo like this no way so it was feel wow so all stress out. All right, let me try. What? <gasps> that's that's re literally coming from my body. Wait, nothing? No, no, no. Nothing here. A, li a little bit. Nothing. Here, mm -hmm. nothing. Uh -huh. As Just soon as you that. get close to the wall. And you know those um, bowls that uh, you sometimes do the med meditation, uh, the uh, bronze bowls that you put the like stick and it makes the vibration sound? It has exactly the same feeling, but you are, you are in a tower. How is it even possible? And how is it that back in the days they were able to build this and knew that this would make the sound? Wow. wow that's unreal it's yeah. really weird design even if the local people doesn't believe like that as well. wow but thank you for sharing that was a very special moment <laughs> i'm so impressed all right so if this part looks familiar to you that's because this is the part that tomb raider 3 was filmed at this entrance right here and you notice this massive banyan tree now living in hawaii we've seen a lot of banyan trees but by far this is the tallest banyan tree 
I've ever seen. We've seen a lot. And you can see how it just basically took over the whole interface of the whole entire brick wall and right over the entrance. This is like epic. This place is incredible. I got really excited when I came in here. It is so intricate, the designs, the way it's even falling apart and the way it's actually being held up by tree <laughs> roots. That's a, that's a first for me. Yeah, it's like a mix of being out of some type of ancient place. Uh, you really feel like you're a part of an ancient civilization. Yes, yes, for sure. And I really like the feel from this temple. It's much quieter. Well, at least maybe the time that we are visiting it wasn't as many people. And I love to see how some parts of the temple are actually completely fell apart and they're planning to restore it and I love the fact there is moss growing on top of the rocks and some of the stones got oxidized with green and red color and another unique feature of this temple is that they use lava rocks that gives a little bit different color and a completely different texture but the prayer room though boom yeah boom boom like goosebumps <laughs> instant goosebumps when I was mind-blowing to me this is a must visit oh. for sure and if you don't go with the guide you will miss this you will miss that and you have to experience that so yes get yourself a guide be sure to contact Sok he will give you a good price we will leave his direct WhatsApp number in the description below and be sure to mention just, just be, be out, out. sent you we are now at our last temple on this tour. This is the main gate to Bayan Temple and also the main gate for Angkor Thom. Angkor means the city and Thom means big, so the big city. So this uh, main gate is located on the east side. On the top you see the face of the king or the, the face of the Buddha looking all different direction. And we're going to go on top of this wall to take a closer look at that gigantic tree sitting right on top of the wall and we'll get a closer look of the face of the Buddha. We are now on the top of the wall and it's not your ordinary wall. There is just like entire ecosystem here. There is a path to uh, take bicycles. Over here you see all these trees that are growing here. And from this side you can clearly see the Buddha face or the king face. And his face is facing all four different directions, symbolizing that he's seen everything and he's also making his himself approachable to other people because when he was ruling he was allowing his people to come and see him twice a day unlike other kings who did not allow ordinary people to see him we are now inside of the Bayan temple and it is the last temple of the Khmer Empire what's unique about this temple is that it has 54 towers Right now, unfortunately, only 48 are remain intact, but they are planning to restore the other towers. And what the towers represent is the 54 kingdoms that formed the Khmer Empire. It is fascinating. On each tower, there is a Buddha face on every direction. So there are over 200 Buddha faces. Okay, we've just returned back to our hotel from this amazing tour. It was incredible and we highly suggest you do so when you come here. When exploring Angkor Wat, it's not like your regular uh, national parks or museums. All the temples are spread out and you do need transportation to get from one temple to the next. Grab is not allowed to get there so you do need to hire either a tuk-tuk driver which was really great uh, when we were going from one temple to the next. Uh, there was a nice breeze and our driver was always there ready for us. 
and as far as the tour guide go, goes, uh, the tour guide must be licensed. So SOC is an excellent tour guide. We highly recommend you to take this tour. This is called a small tour. There are also tours for two or three days available. So just reach out to him and figure out which tour you would like to do when you come to CM Reef. We hope we provided great information in this video for you. I gave you an insight on what these uh, temples look like. They're absolutely amazing. And if you do find value in this video, what would really help if you're not even a subscriber is to just give us a thumbs up, let us know you enjoyed this video, and it'll help other people find this video who are possibly visiting Cambodia and would love to do these activities. And if you would like to support our journey, just click the heart button below this video. We thank you so much or how people here in Cambodia say Okun for watching, watching. And, and as, as usual, usual just, just be out, out with us. us.